Peaky Pixie is a game designed by Elizabeth Hargrave and published by Button Shy Games. This is important because if you know this publisher, you know that the games come in these small uh, plastic pouches and they have a rule sheet and they have 18 cards. That is their standard thing. And I like the economy, the, 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 the uh, minimalism that comes into designing a full game with so few cards. Also, they are very portable, affordable. I like so many things about this general idea. And I played and reviewed several of their games in the past. I would say played a lot of them and reviewed some. Now, Piggy Pixie, I'm going to tell you right away. Sorry to anticipate the conclusions. It is a fun game, but here... Uh, we needed a couple of extra cards and that's kind of like captures the general idea of what I think about this game. So in this game, uh, this is a deduction game. Uh, each uh, turn, the players uh, will try to guess what the Picky Pixie is going to eat or wants to eat and one player will play the Picky Pixie. So we alternate being the Pixie and the other players try to figure out what the Pixie wants to do. The game revolves around these cards that are double-sided and each has four different groups of flowers. You give the player who's playing the pixie this round this card, they put it in front of them, and then you give the player two cards. Now they look at the groups and then they make up a rule. The pixie makes up a rule about the kind of flowers or groups of flowers that they want to eat. For example, the pixie says, I want to eat at least one purple flower. Once the pixie has the rule, they need to put down the cards in a way that one goes on the yes side, indicating a group that they would eat, and one goes on the no side, indicating a group that they would not eat. If the rule is, again, at least one purple flower that, that works that way. You have a player aid, a single player aid, and this is the problem with the... Uh, with the production of this game, that reminds you what the rule can be based on. The rule must have one of these three sentences or conditions, at least, less than, even odd, and then imagine there's a blank, and then you fill in the blank with these. And so it could be at least two pink, at least two orchids, uh, Less than three flowers. Um, what was the other one? An odd number of roses, or an odd number of daisies, and so on and so forth. So, again, playing with a simple rule, at least one purple. Once the situation is set up, the other players will uh, take turns trying to feed the pixie. So a player picks up a card and chooses one of the four groups and says this is the group and offers it to the pixie and the pixie places on the yes or no side based on the rules. On the rule. This pixie needs at least one purple flower, so that goes there. Next player goes and says, well, I'm going to offer this one here. And so the pixie places it here because there is at least a purple. After each time that the pixie has been offered food and the pixie has placed that, any one player can call for a guess. It's okay, we're going to try to guess. At that point, everybody gets a guess. Everybody <clears throat> writes down, so that happens simultaneously and secretly, everybody writes down what they think the rule is. When somebody calls up, uh, for a guess, also the pixie immediately collects a card. This is a way to keep track of how many times people guessed, because the more guesses players use, it means the longer it took for the rule to be figured out, the more points there are for the pixie. The pixie scores two points per card they collect, that means two points per guess that the group called. <clears throat> So players secretly and simultaneously try to guess the rule. Once they have written it down, everybody reads the rules. And the players that... Well, if somebody guessed it, then that's the end of the round. The Pixie scores these points. And the players guessing, they score a point for each two cards that are left in the deck at that point. That means the earlier you guess, the more points you score. And so that's how it works for the players guessing and for the pixie trying to delay the guess <clears throat> for as long as possible. Well, wants people to guess, but the pixie wants them to guess wrong. And of course, if somebody called for a guess, uh, 
and no one gets it right, then the game continues. So as the next player who's gonna try to feed the pixie, uh, give it the screw. And so that's how that goes. <clears throat> when I read the rules, I thought it was gonna be a cute, simple light filler with a little bit of logic and some nice, fun bluffing. And it could be that if there were more player aids. So I just, well, first when I, I review games, so I'm gonna play with exactly whatever I receive in the mail or whatever I buy at the store. Um, but that was the point that everybody complained that there was only this, only one player aid. People would have liked to have this handy all the time as they were making their guesses. People started writing down and then it's still people got confused like, oh, well, I forgot that it could be this group or there was that thing or there was that other thing. The lack of a player aid for players uh, simply uh, really weakened the experience very, very much. I could see that the game could be a fun, little, simple, quick filler, but you need more player aids. So maybe I'll make photocopies of this, I'll print more copies, uh, put them into sleeves, you know, just paper in a sleeve, whatever. But I guess uh, with that, yeah, no, the sleeve would need to be transparent because it's double-sided. If you make four copies, I think the game is gonna be what it needs to be. Maybe this time, Baden Shai should have invested in like four more cards, and that would have been, uh, you have five player eights, uh, and that's that's great. I think the game would work very well. So, based on what I think the game can be, if people are fully familiar with the uh, possible rules and can check them freely, nice, simple, uh, quick. Again, when players were in guessing, well, I'm trying to remember what the rules are, we were having a good time, I was having a good time, I enjoyed the guessing, I enjoyed the bluffing, I'm not particularly good at either of them, meaning the rules that I come up with are always super simple, when players come up with the rules I can't figure them out, but that's an example of a, hey, I play games to play games and have a good time, not necessarily to win. There's a kind of game where I'm probably never gonna win a single game, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the general idea, I think the art is super cute, but again, we need more player aids. And this is my assessment of Picky Pixie.